Hi beautiful souls, in this video I'm going over how to make them chase you and take them off of the pedestal and replace it with you, alright? So, here's how to make someone chase you. It's obviously probably someone that you are really attracted to, somebody that you're into, somebody you want to be in your life, you want them to want you, right? You want them to chase you, that's what you're, that's what you're here for. Well, when you want someone to chase you and you want to know how to do that, you have to start thinking in opposite ways. What I mean by that is so you have attraction to this person. You like certain things about this person. You want this person to be in your life, right? I want you to get those same emotions that you're feeling as you watch this, as you're, as you're thinking them up right now. I want you to use these same feelings, these same emotions, these same statements. And I want you to give that to your SP right now. Imagine yourself pushing all your, your emotions that you feel, the love you feel, the compassion you feel, the desire you feel for this person. I want you to give it to them. And now I want you to imagine this person feeling these things for you, feeling this way about you. Remember, everything is you pushed out. This person has no free will. Okay, so what that means is that the emotions you have, the desire you have, he or she already feels it. Already. They already feel the same exact way that you do. We are us pushed out. They are mirroring what you feel about yourself. So if you know for a fact that you love this person, that you desire this person, that you love the good moments you guys had, then think about those. Think about them hard. Think about them long. Feel the emotion. And then I want you to put that back to him. Put that back to her. Send it, send it, send it. And then I want you to imagine the same person. View what they look like. View who they are. View their personality. All of the above. And then I want you to think of them having those same emotions and feelings for you. That is how you get your specific person to chase you. That is how you get your specific person to be at your set, your door. And the thing is, this pedestal that you put on this person, right? The one where you're like, oh my God, I desire them so much. Oh, I love them so much. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right? They now feel that for you. And they feel it on a consistent basis because every time you try this exercise of you feeling the emotion you feel towards that person and how amazing they are and what they look like and how you're attracted to them and oh my gosh, like everything just feels so good. Like they feel that towards you. So what you just did is that you literally quantum leaped. You just went into a different reality because now what is actually happening and going to, you're going to see in your 3D is that that person is going to do things and take actions that are what you want because they feel that for you. Remember, we are us pushed out. We are mirrored. And so you took that person off their pedestal and you went ahead and gave you the right to get back on your pedestal and gave them a chance to chase you, to love you, to want you. And so once you do that little exercise and you can do it daily, you can do it once a week, it's entirely your choice. You'll start to feel better. You'll feel better about who you are. You'll feel better about your self-concept because if you are feeling all these things for this person and this person is literally feeling the same exact things, you're, you're on the pedestal. They are no longer on the pedestal anymore. Another way to take them off the pedestal is to remember the good qualities within yourself. Do not sit here and tell me that you don't have any good qualities. Well, I don't have any good qualities. Nobody likes anything about me. Okay, well, if you think that, that's going to be what people think about you. But everybody has good qualities. Everybody has something that someone really adores and loves about you. Think those things about your Yourself. That's how you take them off the pedestal. That's how you climb the pedestal and you sit your beautiful butt right there on that pedestal because you remember your self-concept and you remember who you are and you remember how gifted you are. And so always take those emotions, take those powerful feelings, give it, you feel it, but then go ahead and give it to them and let them feel that for you. Imagine them feeling that for you. Imagine the moments that you guys have communicated and talked to each other and put that person back into that feeling state. And I promise you, you're going to see very significant change in your 3D. This person will chase you. This person will be after you like crazy. Number three, the number biggest, biggest, biggest step that I want to just go ahead and put out there is that when you do get in communication with this person, Person and this person reaches out or you reach out or they both reach out or however it happens, right? I want you to remember to have self-control. And so use that term 
when this person pops up because the moment you're you see their name pop up on your phone or you see them in public or whatever happens in your reality you're going to immediately feel emotion you're immediately going to feel all of the floodgates are going to open immediately because you're like oh my god it's them oh my god they text me oh my god you know what i'm saying you're going to immediately be like this is amazing right tell yourself mentally have self control Give yourself some time. Go clean the kitchen. Go run some more errands. Uh, play the video game for a little bit. Make sure that you're aware of who you are. You're a king. You're a god. You're a goddess. You're a queen. Okay? So what that means is that you're the one sitting on the pedestal. They want you. They want to chase you. They love you. And then when you get these thoughts and emotions, because I know what it feels like, guys, to not want to push back this person communicated with you you want to communicate back with them i get it guys i understand that's the whole purpose of everything right but you got to give them something to want so if you're always available and you're always replying back and you're always giving them what they're used to they're gonna react the way they used to because they know they got you they know that you're always going to be there right and of course you're always still going to be there but that doesn't have to be vocalized that doesn't always have to be shown in the 3d and so when people feel like they're being ignored they feel like oh my god why is she not talking to me they start you know entering a realm of all these questions of like oh my god oh my god what are they doing why are they not talking back why are they not texting me oh my god it's been like an hour like what's going on you're busy that's what's going on. You, you're doing stuff. You're living life. You have things to clean. You have things to do. You have work to do. You have people to talk to, right? So when the, the communication does come in, it's most of the time going to be subtle. It's not going to be like this big confession, but if it is, you've been manifesting really well and I'm very proud of you. But even if it's a big confession, still give it time. Like, for example, give them whatever effort you feel they are giving you in that moment. And then you will always be able to tell yourself to have self-control. So what I mean is, say you're living life, you're going grocery shopping, and you get this big, fat paragraph message about how much I love you and I miss you. You see this person clearly put effort towards that. This person clearly wants you to know they love you, right? So you're going you're gonna to have to react actually a little more swiftly than normal because you can see there was effort. So respond. Yeah. Respond. Give them what they want. Give them the love and compassion they want that comes from you, right? But you could at least give it an hour before you reply back. You could at least give it about 30, 45 minutes. You know, you don't have to be like, let's jump the gun just because I got a two paragraph essay about this person loving me. Give it some time. Make sure you know what you're saying. You know how people say when you're angry, take time to cool off because when you do things when you're angry, you're not really thinking, you're not really doing the right thing, right? Same thing. When you don't just react on love and compassion and joy and how much you want this person, give it some time. Think about it. Like, let that moment last a little bit longer. Like, be happy, be thankful, be grateful. Like, oh my God, this person really reached out to me. Oh my God, this person really like, feel that. And then respond, okay? Now say, you know, this person reach out, reaches out and they like send you an emoji waving. Give that time. You can respond in a day. You can respond in two days. You can shoot. Drive them crazy. And then say, hey. And then they'll say, what are you doing? And then maybe don't reply, you know? Give whatever the person's giving you, but give it times 10. Give it times five, all right? And that's how you get them to chase you. That's how you get them off the pedestal and you're back on the pedestal, okay? Let me know how this works. Comment below. Comment below what your experience has been. Um, let me know if taking them off the pedestal helps. Let me know if this helps. I know it does. I know you're going to be able to talk to your SP soon. I know that you're going to get the results you want. I know that this person is already head over heels over you. So you guys let me know when it happens because it is going to happen. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, comment below your experience, like the video and sub to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Love the new viewers. Thank you. The reoccurring viewers viewers i'm sending you guys so much love and compassion and joy and i'm wishing you guys a wonderful rest of the day thanks for watching guys